This is your source for local news in the heartland. This is KTBO's Good Morning Heartland. And welcome back. We're live at Kelly's Furniture and Carpet One, and we're in the kitchen, which means it's time for some cooking. And once again, we're joined by Joe Manhart, also known as the Egg Lady. How are you? I'm great, thank you. I love being here. I love uh, breaking in a new news. I'm man. excited. Yeah. I've never done cooking. Okay, here. never done cooking. Hold that open for Absolutely. me. Absolutely. What are we All going right. to be making okay. today? Okay, this is called corn flakes and egg muffins because Ooh. I don't know what else to call them. And that you don't have to make a choice between cereal or eggs. You can have them both. Oh. And so a cup of of, of uh, I started corn to flakes. say Cheerios. That's what I often <laughs> eat. Corn flakes. You're doing very well. Thank I you. I predict a, a fine My mom bowl will in be the proud. kitchen for you. <laughs> yeah, in a Ziploc bag mm -hmm. and seal it up, and then definitely want to seal beat it up. the heck out of it. Yeah, right. You know they try so hard to keep them cr in one piece <laughs> and not from breaking up or anything, but. If you were talented with a drum roll, hey, you could bring the kids in. Look at that. Could, and if you, you have some aggression, on the floor and there you go. In it. The, you know, one of my new guys, no, he was, yeah, he was a weatherman. Uh-oh. We couldn't get him to crack up, so he put it on the floor and stomped on it. Oh, goodness. Oh, if you can't crack right. these up, then there's something wrong with okay, you. Okay, here you go. The, now, mix the chopped up uh, uh, corn flakes with a little melted butter, and okay. the recipe is going to be available to you. Not that you need a recipe. I always have a recipe in front of me, but for this I didn't have to. All right. Mix up the butter. This is you can think of this as making a graham cracker crust with melted cool. butter and crushed up graham crackers. Put uh, this will make four. This is enough uh, corn chips for four. And uh, the recipe that I got said put them in a muffin tin. Okay. Well. You know how hard it is to get things out of a muffin tin, so I use a cupcake liner oh, I and like muffin that. tin. Mm -hmm. uh, better idea. And then you just break an uh, egg. Break an egg in there. Uh, now, to keep, I'm going to bake it. To keep it from getting dry on the top, I will pour some whipping cream over the top. And that's the reason baked eggs usually say pour milk or cream over the top. Oh. Uh, salt and pepper. Always a good idea with eggs. I always like that biblical quotation. If a salt has lost its savor, where, wherefore shall it be salted? I think of that every time <laughs> I use salt. Okay, now we're going to do that for all three of them. Okay. Bake them in the oven at 350 for 15 to 20 minutes. Okay. Do not let them get hard like hard boiled eggs. Okay. You want to, when you wiggle them, you want a little bit of softness, a little bit of motion in there. If you wiggle them and they don't move at all, then they're definitely ready to come out of the oven. Okay. And when we, uh, I mean, uh, what I do when I bake these, and mm -hmm. if nobody eats them, usually people eat them, take them home, put them in a plastic bag in the refrigerator, mm -hmm. take one out, put it in the microwave for a minute at a low temperature, Okay. and off you go. So you can make a few and have them every morning. That's right. That's now the right. egg isn't going to get these these frosted, or not frosted flakes, but corn flakes, they're not going to get soggy, are they, in the oven? No, because no. the oven makes them crunchy. Oh, okay. I mean, it's like, it's like a crust. It's okay. like a, oh. it's like the, uh, you know, like, uh, graham cracker crust. Okay. So. Well then, okay, so now we take them out, and how do we get that into this little thing? Oh, this is here because I, I forgot. This is here because if you've got a ramekin, which is a... Oh, uh, you can little, make those in the yeah, oven Yeah, well. do the same thing. Put your egg in there. Where is an egg? Let's use a brown egg and see if there's any difference. I love I love the color of brown yes, eggs. They're, they're gorgeous. Uh, nutritionally and every other way, interior, they're the same, but they're just so beautiful. So if you have ramekins, uh, you can use them or custard cups. Okay. And this one... Uh, is baked in a ramekin, salt and pepper, and another little refinement, if you care to. Perfect. This is my invention. Uh oh, black olives. Black oh, olives on the top. Me. Make it pretty. Me. Okay. All bake. right. Look at that. Okay, and then you bake it. I'm sorry again for three. Three fifty. Three fifty. For fifteen minutes should be enough. Okay. Uh, reach reach in with your and and kind of do Jibble that. It. And if it's really Gushy, let, let it have a few more minutes, okay. but don't overcook them. That's what people do with eggs. All right. They overcook them. Okay. Well, I we'll know, be right back. We're going to go ahead. Welcome back. So we are live at Kelly's Furniture and Carpet One, which means we're cooking, and we just made corn flake and egg muffins. 
And how did we do that, Brian? Well, I believe we had this cornflake crust that we made with a little bit of butter, right? Mm -hmm. And then mix that up, put it in our cupcake pan. Then we're going to crack a little egg in here. Good job. Oh, look at that. I can crack eggs. And then uh, a little bit of buttermilk, right? Just so, what does that do again? It makes it... Uh, it keeps them from burning on top. Oh, that's right. Getting dried out. It's a good tip. Pepper. I never knew that. Salt and pepper. A little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper here. And we're going to... Pop it in the oven. 350? 350. For how long? Till Go ahead. So a uh, little runny, right? Give it a little shake and see if they're not. <laughs> He's a keeper. There we go. Yeah, my is. mom would be proud. Yes. yes, indeed. Please tell your mom about it. And then you this. also did something a little different. You added um, a little bit of all, or not all, yeah, all of them. Yeah, ch just for color, and it's it gives a little taste. You could put pimento on top. Most egg dishes have cheese on top, and I cheese is wonderful. I love cheese, but mm -hmm. whenever I see cheese, I think, okay, no matter what it is, it's going to be good because it's got cheese on it. Mm -hmm. This is good, even without yeah. cheese. And a little crunch. I always like a little crunch. Yeah. True. Yeah, and then you also did a little nice display of some little fruit. Uh, exactly. When kids don't eat fruit in this cafeteria, it's because the fruit isn't good. If they <laughs> use really nice oranges, I think the kids would eat them. And of course, this is too expensive for the cafeteria, but they would probably eat those. All right. <laughs> well, all right. And we will post all the information and the recipe on our website. And